Hi everyone, I've lost track of what day it is. Look at my advent. Day 22nd. Day 22nd? Day, day 22. 22. The 22nd of December. Day 22 of Vlogmas. We'll get there in a minute. <laughs> I planned to do this earlier today, um, but we're nearly a man down, aren't we? Samuel was not his normal self yesterday. He was... I knew he wasn't feeling well yesterday because he was just laying around on the sofa wrapped in a blanket all afternoon. Where's my horse? Wherever where the bag is, by the, by the little cooker. And uh, he wasn't quite himself. He even went to bed a bit earlier than normal yesterday. And uh, he'd promised to make me a cup of tea in bed this morning. He promised me that yesterday. And uh, I was going to, I took both my knitting bags up with me because I was going to have an hour sitting in bed knitting. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to yawn now. Oh, sorry. But bless his little heart, he came into me about half past six, quarter to seven this morning saying, Mummy, I don't feel very well. My throat hurts and it hurts to swallow. And I thought, oh, no. And um, his tongue was all coated white. So I thought, oh, God. So I gave him a dose of um, Nurofen. I was giving him cowpole last night because he wasn't feeling 100%. And uh, I know we've had scarlet fever in his school, not in his class, but in his school, but he goes to a very tiny school. He has had scarlet fever twice when he was younger. And Samuel will go from, he will be absolutely fine one minute and then within the space of half an hour, he will be poorly. Like the weather. Like the weather, yeah, he changes like the weather. So um, we came downstairs, I made him his breakfast and I phoned the doctors and I managed to get my face to face for this afternoon, but I had no car. So my mum had to take me over to the doctors this afternoon and um, the doctor doesn't think he has scarlet fever yet, but it could develop into scarlet fever. He doesn't have the rash and the sandpapery skin, but I said to the doctor, that's normally the last thing to come out on Samuel when he gets it. When he's had it in the past, he has the horrible tongue, the sore throat. But he 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 will suffer with his ears when he gets scarlet fever to the point his eardrums will rupture. <coughs> um, and the rash is the last thing to come out on him. So the doctor has given us antibiotics as a precaution. I said I'd rather have them and not need them than him be poorly and we not have them over Christmas. So here's my little poorly soldier. And he's just not his normal self, are you? So he's had a, quite a high temperature. His temperature is always higher than normal. I remember during COVID, his school was very good. They used to temperature check the children every single day. And they used to panic at the beginning, didn't they? Because your temperature was always higher than everybody else. And then they realized that Samuel always had a slightly higher body temperature than everybody else. So. Because I'm hot and sexy. <laughs> yeah, you're hot, hot stuff, aren't you? Um, <clears throat> but he has had two doses of ibuprofen today, ibuprofen. ibuprofen, and we managed to get him some cowpole today. But I don't feel the best either. So we've got Megan coming down tonight. She texts this afternoon to say she wasn't feeling hundred percent. Did we want her to come down? And I said, well, Samuel's not hundred yeah. percent. Don't know if he's got. I'm Thirty-seven point. Four, yeah, but well, I feel completely fine. Yeah, well, and your Nurofen is two hours old now, isn't it? Compared to mum, she's 36.5. Yeah. So, uh, but we've good. checked that it's safe for Megan to come down because obviously she's um, nine weeks off of having the baby, but um, she's happy to come down so long as Samuel and Megan don't kiss. So no smooching your sister tonight. So she's still going to come down. Didn't plan on smooching, I know. So last night, um, did we watch last night? Sugar Rush. Oh, we watched Sugar Rush on Netflix. And Mr. Christmas. Watched that in the afternoon, didn't we? Oh, and I watched Kirsty's Homemade Christmas. Oh, yeah. We watched that and it, they were decorating Christmas trees, weren't they? There was somebody on there um, who was decorating her tree with yarn. There was some man and he was decorating his tree with the bottoms of tin cans. He cut off the bottom of the tin can and laser cut um, a shape and then punched it through and he had the 12 days of Christmas and the nativity scene and then he smooched in the edges and they looked really, really effective. And then another one was all just really bright colours. That was really pretty. 
can't remember what the other one was. Weird faces. Oh yeah, bizarre, weird polymer clay faces, very bizarre. But the one that was that won was all bright colours and it was a candy cane thing, wasn't oh, yeah. it? all done in yarn she made she spun her own carded her own yarn spun her own yarn and then wrapped all the yarn and made candy canes and pom-poms but i decided to give my cow some love last night so i put in another what is it meant to be it's like a scarf that you wear you know your snib that you wear to school so these colors i've done and i've done this color what, so I, I put in this cup. So These are the different days. Yeah, so this was day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight. I've just started day eight today. Why are you not doing it day one? Because I, um, I was finishing socks for Daddy and socks for Jesse. I thought like day one, then day two, then day three, four. No, five, so you, six, you you knit up the whole little eight, skein. Nine, you know this ten. little skein. You knit that up. Oh, okay. So that becomes this. But I'm loving the pattern that's now going in. It's really pretty. But I do think this is a bit bizarre. You've got a yellow and orange and then gone back to yellow. So I'm not sure what day nine is. But I'm loving it. And I'm loving this pattern. <coughs> well, I suppose actually that one it doesn't look true to you. But it's quite a peachy in real life. So I suppose that is peachy, peachy and yellow. I'm so gonna I'm going to do a bit more. So I've brought out the... Uh, Midnight Diary, it's another grey one and this one is In the Bleak Midwinter one of my favourite hymns again well done Gem In the Bleak Midwinter published in 1872 under the title of A Christmas Carol In the Bleak Midwinter is a poem by Christina Rossetti in 1906 Gustav Holt composer of my all time favourite The Planet Suite composed a setting of the poem. According to Wikipedia, it was named as the Chris Best Christmas Carol in 2008. And I love that carol. So let's number that one, 22. I do like that one. <coughs> it's got bits of blue in there as well. Hi, Mai. Hi, Mai. Hello, are you going to do your advent calendar? Oh, Milo. Milo, are you going to open your advent calendar? Where's day 20? Oh, day 20. What have you got, Milo? You've got tweeties. Oh, are you going to say hello to everybody? Has he got three? Has he got He's got two. Three? Look, two sweeties for Milo. Right, I'll do and day, another sweetie. Day 19. Yep, he has a one with a Oh, Milo. Alright. Oh, sweetie. Milo. Oh, sweetie. Milo. Nice, sweetie. Are they nice, Milo? I'll read out what they actually have in there. Are we going to get him this one back to you? Or get the different no, I think we're getting one where he had different flavours because he liked those last year. He had different shapes and different flavours last year, didn't he? Okay, that's it. Right, dandelion. No, it's not to to that, yes. oh, no, it's going to go pop for these sweeties, Milo. Okay. I'll read what they are. Oh, um, no, don't worry at the moment. Okay, just read that bit. No, I no don't read the ingredients. Day tw oh my goodness, that's a bit different. New shoots, that's got pinks and greens on it. That's quite different, isn't it? Well, that's pretty. Dogs are age 15. No, that's designed by Elsa Cook, age 15. That oh, is quite different, that, isn't yeah. it? New shoots. Pop that in there. Oh, one to go and then the big one. I was thinking as well, um, Shall I carry on to the end of December with Vlogmas? Show you what I knit, show you what I get for Christmas. Oh, another hot chocolate. I finally had Ooh. one of these hot chocolates this afternoon. Samuel had one last week and you didn't enjoy it, did you? I think you put too much milk in there. No, I didn't enjoy it. But I had one today and it was lovely. Oh, I like that one. That's nice, Samuel. Well, it's like a winter's light and distant choir. A winter's light and distant choir. I don't know, but I do like that. My friend Sylvan would love that. She loves all things purple. That would be her favourite colour. Pretty, pretty. 
Um, before I do um, Secret Society. Bring it down so I can see Wyler a bit. Just so I can see Wyler recorder. Yeah. Um, I've got this yarn. I've got two balls of this. And I don't know if anybody's used it before. But it's got a reel of elastic inside. So I'm presuming I just knit the elastic when I knit the heel. Is that correct? I've not done that before. My sister gave me this, it was hers. So I'm presuming I just knit that when I Sorry. knit the heel. So, yeah. So, I had to ask you yeah. so if you have got, if you are part of the Secret Society Red Spotty Bag Gang and you have not received your Red Spotty Bag and you don't want any spoilers, I suggest you head off now and so, I will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye. So bye for now. If you are not part of the Red Spotty Bag or you have got yours and you know what's coming, stay along. Um, but if not, I will catch you tomorrow as long as we are all well and we've not gone down with scarlet fever. We'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a bit more manic because there's more things on our list to do tomorrow. The video will probably be a lot later. Well, it's it late today, be, isn't it? It's quarter past four yeah, now. It'll be late or early. I'd like to do it early tomorrow, but I'm, I've got things to do. <laughs> but I'm, I'm waiting for my veg box to come tomorrow. Luckily, they phoned me because I know I had said to be delivered. And they phoned me today and said it was ready to be collected. I, I wanted it delivered. Okay, so if you are part of Mandy Shaw's Secret Society and you have not received your red spotty bag or you have not opened your red spotty bag... I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. bye. Have you Merry gone? Christmas. Have you gone? Go. Shoe. Go on. Shoe. Go. No peeking. Uh, yeah, I can see you. Go on. Go. Go. Wait. wait. We can't carry. We can't carry. Can still video. see you. Yeah, they got record, but we can't carry one video. See what person right there. Yeah. Subscribe. <gasps> Subscribe. I see you. Go yeah. down and subscribe. I see you right now. I can see you. Yeah, oh, they've you just hit. They've just oh, hit okay, right. Well, let's carry on okay. then. So, red spotty bag. So, our little Christmas gift was this cute little felted robin. <laughs> Milo decides to scratch while he's walking. He thinks he can scratch himself and walk. So, this is from Sass and Bell. Cover up your face if you want to put it. But I think that's really cute. We did make a robin. You talk about it. We did make a robin in one in the very first advent box I got from Mandy Shaw, and this looks considerably better than my robin. Mine looks a bit like roadkill. Where is it? Because I know it looks terrible. It's awful. Just wipe the face. Terrible. Mine really looks like roadkill. <laughs> Now don't laugh. So you got this one. And if you're eating, I suggest you swallow. Right, don't drink, don't drink. Don't right. drink and swallow whatever is ever is. Hold on to hold on to what you're sitting on. Yeah. If you're standing up, just leave the video. <laughs> just what like, are their boobs? No, they're his feet. I just oh. put them in the wrong position. I have improved, but I mean it's just roadkill, isn't it? Do you like I've tried it's to get my awful. feet up here? It's just awful. So, so that one is considerably better. So that's why my one lives right at the back of the tree. Wait, um, I have improved. I mean, look at that. For my mind, look at that. Look at that. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Want to see the tree? Right. Put it down because we don't want to be cancelling it off. Sarah. Right. Oh, Bonnie, look at that. Look at that. Bonnie, look at that. See, it has an ended yet. I don't wear it in my life because I nearly fell off a chair. Right. Uh, okay. Let's put you on there. Last year we got a little red ball from Mandy. And then also in here that I dare say my little sidekick will enjoy are some little chocolate mice. I don't like them. Don't you? Yeah. Not the best. You sure it's not a dog print one? No. Some more red thread, bro um, cotton and brodo. Wait, if you do it sideways, it might take up the whole camera a bit. Some fabric. And then the magazine. Um, you always say you're going to do a short video. I know. It ends up like 20 minutes. Mandy's had two new grandchildren. Grandchildren. Grandchildren born. Talks about making a Christmas wreath. 
she explains to you about the three three blind mice because this year the quilt is all about nursery rhymes so she explains the history of the three blind mice nursery rhyme i haven't read that yet to find out what it's about and then you've got a picture to color in <laughs> you've got well i don't know which one's which now You've got two, I'll have to read, you've got two pictures to sew. One is the main quilt and one is the smaller block. To my mind, they both look the same size. No, I think the back one's... one that, is, oh, that, that, that is the mini block. Yeah, I, was, I said that that was the mini block. And that's the main block. But I'm only on block one and a half. <laughs> and what block is it? Oh, I don't know. We're on December and we started in May, so... You're on, you're on block May? I, we started in May. And you're on We've got a May. recipe for chocolate marzipan mice. My mum would love those. Why don't you make them? No. Why have a grand block of marzipan? Mm, grandma would love those. And then 12 Days of Christmas song. So, a little bundle there for Mandy. Well, I was pushing it for charity for mm. the two. So, that's it. So, we'll end for now because I'm cooking Samuel's dinner because he's going to eat before Megan arrives. And um, we'll catch you tomorrow. I'm not actually seeing. Bring the camera down. I'm trying to seat by seat angle. Just right. mm. Okay, I'm going to need to lay the table. Well, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, bill. bye for now. Bye. bye.